Um, currently working on the um, the Jake Stringer song. Um, it's going to go to Coldplay's Fix You. I was going to edit a video today, but I've just, I'm in the zone with it. Sort of just hitting them straight out the middle. Um, so yeah, just working on that at the moment. I'm about halfway through. There's a big crescendo ending. Um, if you know the song, it's just a massive, huge ending. So I'm just working on that at the moment. Trying to get some lyrics, trying to get it flowing out of my head. And then, yeah, I'll be going up to Melbourne at about 7 o'clock to go on radio. So looking forward to that. So as you can see, it's near dark outside. But the package song, all four pages of it, is finished. So, um, yeah, handy, exciting. She's done. Um, yeah, it's always weird to get my... Um, my thoughts on the song before it's out because sometimes I just do a bit of talk myself out of putting it out. I've had like four or five songs written and then not put them out just because I don't think they're funny enough. I don't know if the lyrics are funny enough in this one. Like it's not a ha-ha funny one but it's just such a weird concept in terms of it's to Coldplay's song Fix You so it's so emotional but I'm talking about Jake Stringer so that's what I think is good about it. I don't know. Proof will be in the pudding, but I'm pretty sure I'll put this one out. I'm, I'm up and about about it. It's good. It's good fun. So, so it took me about three hours. It's all I did all afternoon. But it's done. Um, yeah. All right, so now I'm going on radio. I'm um, going to go fill my car up, and then, um, yeah, we'll go to Melbourne. Been a productive Monday. I'm loving it. Anyway. Oh, just arrived in Melbs. Um... About to go on the radio. I haven't been on the radio for a little bit, so a bit rusty, but um, yeah, always enjoy it, always love it. Oh, here we go. Ah, let's do it. Mark's on three, two, one. Welcome back to Cine FM. That was Justin Timberlake just ripping up the radio airwaves. You're listening to Caden and Chriso. Yeah, Chriso. Yeah, well. Um, I've got a bit of a story for you. Um, now, as you said, we spoke about it earlier, I got back from uh, Europe recently, and there's a few things that um, kind of interested me about Europe overseas compared to here. Um, now, I'm a big, big advocate for Melbourne being the best city in the world. Mate, oh, I've told... <laughs> people find it weird how... Uh, not addicted, but how much I love this city. Yeah. I'm from Geelong, and I don't know, I just... I froth it. It's lovely. It's lovely. Um... Beautiful. How'd we go, Chriso? Oh, you know, it was a quality show, but what else to expect? Absolutely flying. Back home from the radio, had an absolute ball, and, um, yeah, still working on the Jake Stringer song. And I just wish it was me. It was me. I wish it was me. I really miss the days when we were two peas in a pod. It looks as if I'm sulking, but I promise you I'm not. Maybe I've gone crazy, maybe I have gone insane, but I really wish that you would scream the package out again. BT, don't forget me. Alright guys, it's Tuesday afternoon and I'm just about to go see Morgan, my mate Morgan. Um, we're going to eat nuggets together. Um, yeah, Monday was pretty productive, so, um, you know, trying to keep up the momentum. What's on for today? It's one o'clock already. That's how late I wake up. But, um, yeah, what's on for today? I want to, um, I want to film the Nugget video and just have that in the locker for the next couple of weeks. I don't think it'll be out this week. And then I want to, um, come home and record the BT Jake Stringer song because I've sung that probably 50 times today. Um, it's so... To me, because I love Fix You, the song, it's so addicting. So, um, yeah, want to go in, film the nuggets with Puds. Um, he hasn't been on the channel yet, which is a bit of a shame, but I can, you know, can't wait to get him on. Uh, film that video and then, yeah, come back and um, I'll probably bring it with me while I record. What sort of sauces do we want? I reckon all of them. All the sauces if we can. Yeah, no, so just an even mix of like the mayo, barbecue, ketchup. Yeah, real spread. Here they are. There's plenty there. It's beautiful. That guy just took the piss out of us. Yeah, it's uh, dirty looks. <laughs> it just doesn't get make the distance. Little mouth, little mouth. Yes! It was 
was that in shot, I don't know. Oh, was okay. That would have been. So now I'm back um, home after the chicken nugget beep test. That was a bit of a shambles, but I still think it would be pretty funny. Um, just about to record my vocals for the new parody song. Um, so yeah, I'll show you my little setup of uh, the little studio I get going. And um, yeah, record a banger. An absolute banger. A summertime hit for the fellas. The crowd. I do it cause it's fun and I do it cause I can But I'm older than I used to be and now it's sort of sad Cause people that I grew up with I buy in bungalows but people that I grew up with Are mostly dummies though, that is not for me uh, A couple of hours ago I put up the video where I kick with a few subscribers Which, um, yeah, that was, what a, you know, I don't know What a great video um, Yeah, I, I was, I don't know I just sort of doubted if anyone would come and to have like 15 kids there was sick, so I appreciate that. So now I'm going to keep working on the parody. I want to get the last part down, so I can film early next week. Yes! Just do one just to see if this is... a little red light on. Is that filming? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. How much of the song are you doing here? The whole thing? i just do the whole thing. Are you going to go to the footy oval? A bit? Yeah, well, I'll do a couple of spaces. I'll probably do the whole thing from here. And then... I don't know, maybe walk like this way with it. And then we'll go to the footy oval and I'll do the rap and then... And then I'll get other parts where I'll go home and do the steak thing with Bristle. And I'll be in the BT stuff. And then I wanted to do one thing at the BT. Beat. With the BT stuff on and be like me stand, staring at him and then me in the suit look at him. Give him the steak and you'll eat the gristle. But that can be so. <laughs> gonna start laughing. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. It's I'll, good. Get, I'll get some rocks. Alright, we'll do this for like, yeah, a minute or something. It's out of focus. Yeah. Hang on, yeah, do I... I get you like a Razio when he seems pretty cool And I know he kicked the 40 in the bin when he's at school And I know he kicks the goals from all the angles all the time But has he ever shrugged for blows and kicked a snag against the Lions? I'm not lying, but I'm trying to get better just for you Do I need to win the Brownlow? If I do then I'll win too I'm watching you on FNF, you are the king of the castle Fuck is this? Alright guys, you probably think, um, you know, we've got a big makeup team when I transform into the Bristle or any other character. But it's, it's really, I know it's amazing and the budget we're on, we should probably, um, you know, hire some more people. But it's really as simple, and I don't think you would have realised this, but behind the scenes, it's really as simple as um, getting a $2 moustache from the $2 shop. And all I do is put it on. BT! Don't forget about me. I'm Bristle and I'm on TV. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because you call me the package and I call you the Bristle. Oh, geez, it's been a long day filming for like four hours, but we're nearly done. Um, this thing has lasted so long. It's, it's been a couple of week ordeal, but 
I'm doing my last shot now and then editing. It's two o'clock on Thursday. Obviously, if it came up on Thursday, which means I've got like two hours to do it, um, you would have seen it. But if it doesn't, it'll be out on Friday. So let's have it. All right, guys and girls. Um, it's currently the day that I'm going to upload this vlog slash behind the scenes. Um, um, yeah, it's the Tuesday, like five days after the video went up and it's flying at the moment. So, um, yeah, it got shared on AFL Banter, 71,000 views. It got shared on AFL Memes on Insta, about 20,000 views. It got shared by the BT page on Facebook, which added to the, um, the AFL Banter views. Um, Jake Stringer commented on it <laughs> on my Instagram. Um, check that out, Kados38. Uh, BT replied to a guy on Twitter who shared it to him. So it's been a crazy five days. Um, I just want to say I appreciate all your support. Um, it's so sick that, you know, we're finally starting to get the ball rolling. And, um, you know, more and more people are jumping on board, which is sick. Um, if you've lasted this long in this video and you haven't subscribed, surely subscribe. Um, yeah, it's, you know, I release some silly stuff every, every week and, um, yeah. If you enjoyed some of the silly stuff that you've seen so far, jump on board. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for all the support. And I'll see you again soon. Cheers.